what's going on YouTube um, this is my weekly haul video uh, I don't know how I don't think I have a whole lot or anything uh, spectacular or anything like that but uh, I do have some new stuff um, including what's up there right now I ended up getting a uh, Harley Quinn uh, Suicide Squad one uh, my local found one for me uh, I guess they had sold out so I ended up getting one of them and I also got the new um, Power Girl DC icon uh, uh, whatever it is uh, what's it called uh, I don't know where the ball oh, Power Girl DC Comics cover girls that's what it's called um, I have a bunch of these uh, so I guess I had pre-ordered uh, this one here and I didn't realize that my local told me I did <laughs> so they had an extra one for me I don't know sometimes I think that they just tell me I did just so I buy it <laughs> you know but I also got one more figure uh, that I purchased picked up but uh, I picked this one up actually at where was it at was it Walmart yeah I think it was Walmart so I got this uh, the Harley Quinn Suicide Squad um, I got the large one. I didn't bother with the small one. So, I think the large one would be cool. So, I'll leave that right there. Okay, I do have some other, like, uh, stuff, but I'll show them together at the end. Uh, uh, you, you'll see. Um, but yeah, so I just go through some of the stuff. I, I picked up new stuff this week. Um, and, let me see. Yeah, okay, so the, yeah, this is all stuff I picked up um, within the last week, so some of this stuff, well, the, the first stuff is, uh, the first few things are stuff, uh, new books, I'm sorry, new books that came out this past Wednesday, um, so I'll just start showing them, no big deal. Um, this was a freebie, um, Harley Quinn and Suicide Squad uh, special edition, um, I think this is the cover Jim Lee did for uh, the polybagged. Uh, covers I can't remember I, I know I have something like that I can't remember it looks familiar but whatever uh, it's just a free book so uh, I picked up the new postal number 13 um, I guess I think I am missing number 11 of this or maybe even number 12 I can't remember one of them I'm missing I'm pretty sure I had to get uh, I still have to go through the books I've you know which just picking starting to pick up new books again only certain titles but uh, I missed a couple on the time I was away from picking up uh, new books. So, of course, I picked up Sons of the Devil, a new issue, number nine. I love that series. Um, and Outcast, number 19. Uh, uh, sorry, I got someone emailed me. Damn. That's a lot. I think someone text messaged me. I'm in a fight right now with someone. <laughs> uh, Outcast, number 19. And then the Harley Quinn. I got the Harley Quinn 30. Um, I'm not sure which issues of these I'm missing. I, I know I'm missing a few of the variants from the last few issues. Um, then I got number 30, uh, the variant 125, um, which is pretty cool. I like that. Her and Poison Ivy up there. I actually do really like this cover too. That, that's a very cool cover. I like the way they had Harley and stuff in her leg. Harley and Quinn. Oh, Harley in her arm and Quinn in her sleeve. Oh, on her leg, I mean. Um, then I got the Flash number three. This is the third one in the series that I have. I actually have all of them now. I still haven't read them. Um, I'm probably going to try to read them this week, though, because uh, I, I have been meaning to, meaning to uh, read this series. So I don't read every single book I, I get, but since I've condensed the number of books I get every week now, I'm only picking up 13 titles a month. So I'm hoping to be able to read those series, you know, because there's no way I can, before I could have read every series I bought. I just bought way too many books. Um, here goes one of the series that I, I have read, you know, from the beginning, um, East to West, number 28. And I picked this up just because it's a blank cover, and I figure, hey, you, you never know. Maybe I'll get someone to do something with this. This is ROM number one, the new series, so... I thought that would be cool. I'm probably going to have someone do something, you know. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to do it. Probably, uh, I, I don't know, maybe New York Comic Con or something, or Rhode Island Comic Con, because I'm going to the Boston Comic Con in a couple weeks. But I'm pretty broke right now. You know, I'm still 
kind of, uh, I don't know. I'm just pretty broke right now. So uh, I'm even wondering if I'm going to have enough money just to get signatures and my my books uh, graded and stuff, you know, from the, when I get the signatures done. Uh, we'll see, though. Hopefully I'll have a little bit of money. Um, then I ordered this for my local. This is the Dark Crystal number three. I picked up the first one a while back, and I didn't know that there was other that they're already up to number three. So they got the uh, the soft cover for me for number two, and I'm waiting for the third one. I think that's only out in hardcover, I believe. Um, but I'm I'm going to get all th all in trade, so on the soft cover. So, uh, but I can't pass that up. Then I they uh, my local got this for me. Um, this is Betty Veronica number one. This is the uh, Adam Hughes cover. Um, they were sold out at my local, um, but they got one from another store somewhere. So, uh, so I got that. I also have. I, I ordered a few things from um, from J. Scott Campbell and whatnot store the stores. So I have some more books. I think I had the J. Scott Campbell cover for this coming. I just realized there's a little tick right there. Oh well. Then I got these. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for these. I just got them. Uh, this is just Flashpoint number four of five. This is the one in 25 variant. And then I got five of five. This is the regular cover. Um, I know there's another one. It's the uh, sketch cover of this. Um, and that I, I guess that's ones are worth a little bit of money um it's some kind of first appearance i can't i i i, I don't remember i remember i think no i think i saw it on i think it was mercy not it's one of mercy that's video but then i got a bunch of these um Matt black magic one i got three of them that was all they had left at my store i heard that black magic is supposedly um not just been all op option but i heard they're actually in the development stage of it um, for TV or something uh, so hey when I, I, got, I got these for undercover price they were 20 well, I, I got my 20% off so like three bucks something like that a little over three dollars a piece so yeah I got that now the uh, last couple three books I got I get I got well, well these next three books I got these on eBay or you know what I'll save these for last. I'm sorry. I'll save these for last. Uh, yeah, because I think the you know one of the books in there I'm really excited to have. But uh, yeah, so what I did, uh, my local's having this huge sale on back issues and dollar bin boxes. Like when I went to buy these books I'm about to show, all the back issue stuff was 80% off. I believe it's 90% off right now because every few days it goes down in price. They're just trying to get rid of all their their uh, the stuff they have in there right now and just I guess make way for new stuff but uh, yeah so of course certain titles aren't included in that like a like Batman and Amazing Spider-Man that's not included in that sale of course you know the, the ones I would want but I did find something I did want and I got these all 80% off so for all these books I'm about to show I paid about $40 so it's little under a dollar a piece so here you go I'm just gonna start from getting it's it's a lot of books I'll go quickly though it's a bunch of GI Joe I took a huge chunk out of the GI Joe books I need now for my series I got number three number four number seven number 11 number 12 number 13 and all of these in fairly nice condition you know um, there's, a, there's a few that are not that are probably mid grade, maybe or maybe a little bit more than maybe a six, maybe even a seven, you know. But yeah, but other than that, they're they're all fairly nice. So number 17, 18, 19, 94 95 96 and of course the rest are all in the higher series so get another little stack of books 96 97 
98. I just love the artwork on these old books. 99. And of course the 100. Look at that. That's awesome. I love that cover. Um, 103. 104. 105. 106. 111. 112. 113. 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, <laughs> 121, we're getting close, 122, 123, no, I'm sorry, 129, and then 138. And that's all of them, guys. I got that whole set, like this whole stack of books for 40 bucks. And like I said, I took a huge chunk out of the my G.I. Joe collection that I need. You know, all the books I needed for my G to try to complete my G.I. Joe collection. And for 80 cents off, I mean, some of the books are like nine bucks, but the app, there, there's, I think there's like 42 books there. So it comes to just about a dollar a piece or maybe just under. So I think that's pretty good though. I'm mean, especially for the condition most of them are in. So, okay. Now before I go on to the, the last three comic books or last, yeah, the last three comics and something else, uh, I want to show, since we're in the G.I. Joe thing, something else I picked up. Uh, I got these from, from Manny NYC. We did a little bit of a trade. And also I made, I bought a couple things off them. Cause he is a G.I. Joe guy. Um, he saw my G.I. Joe collection and there was one of them that I had a double of that I traded him. I traded it for for this figure. Um, I want to say this is low light or something like that. I can't remember. I, I just actually, I haven't really done anything with it or looked it up. But it's just the figure. It does, it's missing the, the uh, accessories. So, I mean, the one I gave him was... Um, can't remember the guy's name. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I gave him one of the, the double I had, and then I got an, uh, a Snake Eyes, uh, not Snake Eyes, uh, Storm Shadow. Uh, this is like a version two, I believe it is, from like ninety one or ninety two. Um, but it has no n nothing with it either. So I got both of them for the one I had. So, and then I bought these off them. And I got these both for 45 bucks, so I'm happy with it. It's fine with me. Uh, this is shipped, so some figures. I mean, some. Uh, I can't remember. You know what? I just re realized that I'm not even going to remember what which ones they are. Um, I think this is. Is this the Havoc? No, no, Havocs. I can't remember. I'm not going to bother. But this is one vehicle I got. Um, I think I actually have the figures for both of these. I know I have the figures for this. Um, uh, so I got this and this is not complete. There is it's missing some of the uh, missiles. I think three of them is missing. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think there's three of them because they go right here. So there's two on this side and two on things. I, I can find them online. But other than that, I think that's the only thing missing. And like I said, I do have the figure so um, so that's one thing I got. I got that one. I think yeah, this one was he wanted thirty bucks for this, so I got that one for thirty, and the other one I got for fifteen. So this is the other one, and I have the figure for this one also. The snow cat. Um, a little dirty, and I, I can I can clean it up though. It's a little dirt, but it's pretty nice looking. Um, but yeah, I'll clean it up. You know. Uh, I guess these are like the, the ones he's, he told me he, he's had these since he was a kid. So I guess he has other ones. He has duplicates of these. So he probably kept the nicer ones for himself, I'm sure. But this one was 15. So, and I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, this is missing some stuff too. Uh, but like I said, most of this I can find online. So if not everything, and I do have the figure for it. So yeah, so I got those figures. That, that's cool to go with my G.I. Joe collection that I'm starting. Uh, okay, so now on to the last couple things. And first I'll show this. This is just something I picked up. This was only, I think, $3, something like that. 
This is by Matt Wagner. It's a little sketch on a backboard. Um, it says to Howard. And but you know what? I, I'm uh, you know anyone who knows me, I'm a huge Grendel fan. Um, it was my favorite comic when I was a kid. Um, but yeah, so I, I got I got a sketch from Matt Wagner of Grendel. Even though it says to Howard, oh well. I wish it was in pencil so I could just erase it. <laughs> but yeah, so I got that just because it was a couple bucks. And I also got these from the same seller. This first one is Vampy. I think this is Vampy. Oh, this is a Vampy. Uh, um, what do you call it? A small book, Ashcan, I believe. And this is a leather one, so it's in leather. Uh, um, I don't really know too much about this. I didn't pay a whole lot of money for it. Um, I know it was under ten dollars, but hey, for a leather-bound thing, I know these usually come at, back at really high grades. Sometimes nine point nines or even tens. So I'm thinking about checking to see who worked on it, maybe trying to get it signed and then grade, get it graded. And then this one's the one I paid a bit of money for. I paid like almost 40 bucks for this. Uh, I, just, I just couldn't pass it up. I don't know, I kept bidding up and bidding up. This is Friday the 13th. This is the red foil edition. Um, and it's still in the poly bag. Um, so House of Horror, New Line Cinemas. But yeah, so still in the poly bag. I don't really know how much this is actually worth because I couldn't find another one online but the bidding went up and I was fighting with someone or a couple people and I finally ended up getting it. I think I, I think I want to pay it said I paid around forty dollars for it or just under I can't remember guys um, now the last book I bought this on Amazon which I don't usually buy a lot of comics on Amazon but once in a while it's the best place to go for a price for a good price now these books for some reason have are selling for 150 and up on eBay. Um, well, that's what people haven't priced at, or I can't remember. Maybe that's what they're selling for. Even I think they're selling for like that much too. Um, so I was able to find this one on Amazon for 55 bucks. So I did not have it. This is the old lore of your volume one. This is the the first um, cursed pirate girl. I think this is prior to um the comics express uh the 300 issue one which i have that also but i think this is prior that this is like a i think it's a four page story in here or something like that i can't remember i, I haven't opened the book i'm not going to because this is in like mint condition it's never been opened um it's just like in really nice condition um it, it is a comic express book so I know it's an original and stuff like that I believe um, I, I, I can't I, 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 I'm really not sure but I'm almost positive that this is the original so um, it's supposed to be first printing so um, I want to take their word at it because I'm not sure how many other printings there were if, or if there even was but I did get it so I'm hoping to see Jeremy Bastian and also Peterson I'm gonna get him to sign this too uh, so yeah um, that's it guys. That is, I mean, just make sure to double check because I often do that and I don't, I always forget to show something. But, um, yeah, I believe that's it guys. So, uh, uh, I'm not sure if there's going to be another one next week, uh, for video. There might, it might come the following week, uh, because I'm going away next weekend. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Um, who knows what I'm going to get this week. If I have enough to show for a video... Oh, I should make another video. Oh, and I am this week going to be making a video um, showing my toys, some of my toys that I have out in my garage. I'm going to pull it in box by box, and I'm going to go through the box on video. Um, so I'm going to be doing at least one of them this week. So guys, keep an eye out for that. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.